questions 79 and 80. Antibiotic resistance is big in the news, so we can't be surprised to see this in a unit on a GAMSAT exam. So we start by hearing that the resistance of pathogenic microorganisms, or bugs, to antimicrobial drugs, or antibiotics, is common. And then there's some blah, blah, blah. And frankly, I'm going to skip that Roman numeral 1, 2 to 5, because I can already look at question 79, which I would do before looking at the passage. And I can see that the question is about Roman numeral 1 and 4. So why would you be spending time reading about the rest? It would just be a waste of your time, especially if you're reading and trying to understand it at the same time. Then, wow, how much time did you just waste? You wasted uh, three-fifths of the time by reading three lines of information that had nothing to do with question 79. So 79 starts with all, fa with all other factors held constant, which means if you read that those other factors, you had lost your time. And then we're looking for situations in which contagiousness will likely lead to resistance. So let's assess Roman numeral 1 as the possibility to lead to increase resistance. Well, let's look at the logic. If you have an increased contagious period for infected individuals, so there's an increased contagious period, well then there's an increased chance that you will infect others. And if there's an increase in chance of infecting others, then there will be more infections generally. And if there's more infections, then doctors will treat them. And so there's going to be an increased amount of treatment. An increased amount of treatment means increased resistance. Why? because of sentence number one. Sentence number one said the resistance of pathogenic microorganisms to antimicrobial drugs is common. So if you're treating more people with these antimicrobial drugs or antibiotics, then you're going to have more resistance. So we know that for the contagious period, which is Roman numeral one, it should be long to result in increased resistance. Now let's look at Roman numeral four the degree of which development of resistance reduces the competitive fitness, reduces. Oh boy, welcome to the uh, world of ACER with the double negatives. So if you have reduced fitness, but your objective is increased resistance, then the reduced fitness should be low. You have to have low reduced fitness in order to increase resistance. And so Roman numeral four would have to be low. Another way to say this is that the micro must be competitive to thrive. And so a low reduction in competitiveness would be needed to thrive. Question 80. So the question uh, talks about uh, general herpes, has a long contagious period. So. I put long for Roman numeral one, reduce fitness of the virus after it becomes drug resistance. So reduced fitness. Now we have to be very careful and read Roman numeral four carefully. The degree to which development of resistance reduces. Okay, so if we have reduced fitness of the virus, that means the degree to which resistance reduces is high, so it reduces to a significant extent. And now we move on to Roman numeral five, a low probability that treatment will lead to resistance. So we just have to put low probability because there's no double negative or any strange thing like that. And now the line for influenza A or flu. There is a short contagious period. The reduction in fitness is zero after it becomes drug resistant and there is a high probability that drug resistance will develop. So this is very clear. There's a high probability of resistance. And with regards to the fitness, we already established that low fitness leads to high resistance. So this is lower fitness. So this is going to lead to high resistance. And therefore, relatively, herpes will have resistance evolution much slower because of Roman numeral 4 and because of Roman numeral 5. Again, we're using information from a previous question to help us answer another question. And so for question 80, the answer is D. And you can read some information about microbiology in bio chapter 2 and, of course, 
some more verbal reasoning type signs questions in the heaps book.